right, so we just left Port Aransas. We're in the intercoastal waterway and we are heading to Port O'Connor for the night. So we're heading about uh, seven knots right now and uh, just taking it easy going down the ICW. Rockport over there, Key Allegra right about there, and then Fulton over this way. You can see the bridge, maybe. The bridge is just out there, like over here. You can see a couple of shrimp boats, and then there's a barge up in front of us that's uh, about two miles away. We're closing on it at about uh, one mile an hour faster than he's going, so it'll take us a little while to catch up to him. And back that way is Port Aransas. in the galley. I'm uh, gonna make me some lunch. We've been uh, on the water for about six hours now and uh, we're approaching our uh, destination so we're gonna be spending the night and uh, I figure I'm gonna have a little sandwich before we get there. So we just crossed the San Antonio Bay. It got a little bit choppy, it was a little bit rolly but uh, we're coming back in uh, so we've got land on both sides of us now so it's uh, it's not as bad so I'm gonna go ahead and make make my life Foggy. It's cold inside. 
get going, so I'm gonna go help with that. Lines are off and we are on the way. JD's gonna be right behind us. And get these fenders up. set of locks right now and uh, it's really more of a flood control thing but uh, this is what it looks like so apparently that's what happens when a barge gets out of hand and crashes into the wall it's pretty crazy this is the helm of the friendship. You can see we've got radar, depth sounder, chart plotter. Transmission, throttle, the wheel. Over here, that's the autopilot control. So you can move the buttons on that to uh, adjust the track that the ship's doing. You can hear the Coast Guard calling somebody on the radio there. They got two radios so we can listen on different frequencies at the same time. Oh, well, I'll just call a radio check from you. Alright, so uh, here at the Surfside Marina, nice facilities. Um, we pulled in a little while ago, made some dinner, I made a salad and a porterhouse steak, and uh, having a sundowners and uh, gonna have a shower and hit the head or not hit the head I'm gonna hit the bed here in a little bit so see you guys in the morning
right, so clearly I may or may not have been a little bit hungover the morning that we left. And so, as such, I neglected to take any video of us leaving the uh, Freeport Marina. So, let's just roll right into... We're going to go to Galveston, and now we're going to be in Galveston, right? All right, well, we just pulled into Galveston. This is the Office Bay. This is the Pelican Rest Marina. Boat's all tied up. We're going to stay here for the night. Going to go check out the transient facilities. They've got a pool and a bar and... Uh, all kinds of stuff so hopefully they got good showers because I really need one um, and uh, over here behind me is Galveston you can see the Moody Gardens and the Colonel old boat old boat thing or uh, paddle boat and uh, man Galveston's really changed didn't look at all like it used to Tiki Island's completely different So we're going to go check out the stuff uh, over at the transient dock. Today we are heading into Houston and uh, got Mike over there. Can't really see him, but uh, that's uh, Mike in the power boat. He's over in the ship channel. We're uh, taking a little bit more of a direct route. So uh, should be to Houston in about an hour and uh, calling this, this trip done at that point. But it's been a lot of fun. Had a great time. Thanks Brent for letting me uh, tag along. Really appreciate it. So we'll uh, catch you guys in a little bit.